Hey guys, it's Aditya here again, and I'm from the Tech EKHD channel. And without any further ado, today I'm going to be reviewing the ReEarth Rinky Slim case for the Google Nexus 4. Now I am testing this on a 16GB factory unlocked Google Nexus 4, but of course it is going to work with any specific model of the Nexus 4, whether it be locked, unlocked, 8 or 16GB. Now this is the fourth case that I ever bought for my Google Nexus 4, and it is by far my favorite for a number of different reasons. One of the things has to do with the fact that it is, is a very minimal and matte case, and I am a huge fan of minimalism. I like everything to be clean, clutter-free, and straight to the point. A concise case, basically. And that's what this case does, and delivers perfectly. Now, at the top, as you guys can see, there is a fairly large cutout for the 3.5mm headphone jack, as well as for the uh, secondary noise cancelling microphone, which is also located at the top of the device. On the left side, we have a very nice contoured cutout for the volume up and down rocker switch, which is very easy to press. And on the right side of the device, or, or rather at the bottom of the device, we also do have a very large cutout, including a slightly larger cutout for the area where the micro USB USB cable would fit in. We also have a smaller cutout for the main microphone, uh, and on the right side of the device we do have yet another contoured cutout for the power slash lock on and off switch. Now I really do like the fact that these buttons are contoured, it does make your fingers fit into them very easily, and makes it very easy to press the buttons on the sides of the case. Now one of the flaws of this case in my opinion is the fact that it's rather hard to take off, and since it is a snap-on case it doesn't have any lay on the table protection, but that can be solved by using a screen protector. Now even though that isn't going to protect you from any scratches, or, or rather any drops, you are going to be able to prevent yourself from scratching the device if you do use a screen protector, which is something I will be picking up very soon. Now at the bottom as you guys can see we do have a pretty nicely sized cutout for the rather small speaker on the Google Nexus 4, and at the top of the device we do have a fairly large cutout for the camera and flash, and I have not noticed any sort of flashback issues or anything or any uh, obtrusion uh, or any sort of interference while taking a picture with the camera. Now one of the things I do really like about this case is the fact that it is very very grippy, it's great to hold in the hand, it has a really nice feeling when you're holding it in the hand, uh, and since it is form fitting it doesn't uh, add too much bulk or anything like that to the Nexus 4, which by itself isn't the thinnest device in the world, but it does have a fairly uh, nice heft which you do feel in your hand. Now as I said before, these buttons are very very nice to press and very easy to press uh, since the cutouts are actually contoured and thinner than the rest of the case uh, and it doesn't actually give you any um, feeling that it is ever going to break or anything. It's a fairly rigid case, uh, which is why it is also pretty difficult to take off. Now as you guys can uh, see from this shot here, as I said before, it is a very minimal case, so it isn't going to provide a really massive amount of protection from drops, but it should prevent you uh, from scuffing your device and things like that. Now the main purpose of getting a slim case is to pre uh, prevent scratches and uh, bumps and nudges uh, and things like that to your phone, and essentially this does case do, uh, does, uh, do as advertised. Now anyway, that is about it for this video guys i genuinely do hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did it would be awesome if you guys could leave this video a like rating and for more videos like these as well as other unboxings reviews tutorials and much much more please remember to head over to my channel the link to which should be in the description of this video as well as in an annotation on screen right now also do remember to subscribe here on itech224 there are some really really great videos and awesome hd content uploaded to this channel as well and for long time subscribers of course you do know what i'm talking about anyway thanks again for watching and as always, I'll catch you all on another video. Peace.